is uh, onion seeds. <laughs> onion seeds time. Uh, onion yeah, seeds you would, time. It's not, this has grown quite good, but uh, some dam damages has come. And when we was uh, checking what is here, we find some caterpillars and we move it out and we hope that it was the one who is the eating the leaves now we just put little yellow onions it's kind of dry out that if it's going here and we put only only between here rows and here also and the onion is if it's getting success uh, it's a kind of companion and protection plant plant and the here in middle uh, we put tomatoes when it has growing big enough maybe need to remove some bok choy but uh, it's no matter while while this boxo is growing the tomato taking next there and then we have a kind of succession planting and and same time is coming that onion so we put only four rows not not here in middle because that is tomato Maybe they can put, when we have placed the tomato, more onion, but uh, at least we try that yellow one if it's, if it's growing here. So start to be filling up. But this is not, not so long. And then it start to, can start harvest. I have to eat those, what, where is the holes? It is coming same way, but this is a. Uh, uh, can even see already the color. This is a red mustard, mustasa, and this is probably misuna. And then there is a tatsoi or paksoi and red mustard. Okay, can see already in in low states what is coming we have more seedlings so this is coming row row of that and onion and tomato so it's not growing only one crop but companion planting and same time it's succession succession planting this four four pets what is here is, is about main crop is tomato and then there is only weeds now but I'm not sure what we what we put in there but of course onion is always our companion plant but uh, what is others we will see and uh, we are waiting now that seedlings are germination and then we can start to uh, here probably need little more compost that it has settled down now and it's good that there is coming out of those weed we are weeding and put little more compost and then it's ready to be doing same also there before planting we have also preparing Beside this wall, we have using using the clay soil. What is coming? But that is just a bit, and then hopefully today we get compost and we put their compost and we start to planting vining plants. This is for the Malabar spinach alupati, and same is same is here all the way there. Here is coming cucumber, 
Pipino. But first need to put compost, some compost and soaking with water. We kind of like this this uh, little garden setup because uh, it's it's so easy to monitoring. It's observe always what is happening, and if you see see some issues, you can right away take it care. If you have a hectare of boxoi pizza, then it's it's very hard to monitoring what is happening in your plants. And uh, we we gonna harvest this by leaves, so it's also also easier that we don't have to put seedlings all the time. And uh, I think when we get the tomatoes growing here, it's it's benefiting also a lot of lot of these leafy vegetables because it's giving some shadow uh, and uh, and this feeling better or growing better when it's not in full sun all the time. Especially now we have a uh, little less shadowing shadowing trees so there is a more sun sun so and uh, we will see how how long that can produce until it's need to change but uh, we we do it also that for succession that we are harvesting first there and then we rolling and of course those smaller one is coming next and and then when this biggest one start to be ready then we replace it maybe same or some another plants or what is your thoughts it's good to be a companion always mm -hmm. onion is very good companion almost anything and uh, it's it's kind of no need so much space mm -hmm. we have several times growing between of uh, Asian vegetables onion and it's it's feeling very good and it's easy you you kind of not lost it because it's always easy to find where the onion is and mm -hmm. then you can harvest whenever you feel that it's it's ready and, and still and it, what is good in onion that uh, if, uh, if, uh, when it's ready to harvest then you can storage and you can use here is no problem because here is yeah. orange but uh, here is a uh, so less onion now available so it's easy to sell also right away but of course this kind of only four rows it's not giving much maybe 100 only but uh, uh, we, we put almost every bed uh, because it's it's okay to grow any hole what is empty and and it's kind of everybody's friend in our garden onion different kind of onions spring onions and uh, Red and yellow ones and it's called it in the red onion it's called it in Philippines Sibuyas boom bye. Mm. Boom yeah. bye. <laughs> yeah we have to buy more that seeds. Mm. We have some only that is coming for seed seedlings and we probably put in that bed then. Yeah. Hopefully the tomatoes is coming faster and we can we can plant in then here. What do you think? For what what height it need to be? Tomatoes. When you can. Height. Hmm. Tomato height. Yeah, I mean the seedling. Ah, uh, when it start to be ready, the second leaves, then it's. Hmm. It's. I have same thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, it's. It's no need to 
like in cold climate you have to grow it very big in inside indoors and then then you can plant it but here is yeah, I think something in, then in cold area it can be frozen time in the April mm. May so yeah you are hurry mm. <laughs> I think it's something four or five inches is enough mm. maybe even three inches is enough the only problem is that it's that it's not getting too much sun that it's strong enough this lotus, this lotus. <laughs> she is learning to say lettuce <laughs> lettuce 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 let let us let us <laughs> yes <clears throat> we don't have a kind of uh, paper plan any of this garden beds but uh, we have a we using cardroid application it's for the android phones i don't know if iphone has a similar but uh, uh, you you can including lot of information for your garden this kind of applications um, you can find generally here information about the, this this different vegetable. You can open and here is all the. Wow, well, I don't know that plant, but <laughs> looks nice. And uh, here is all the. Here is U.S. hardening zones. Can choose the different country, but uh, but it's no much matter. But here is all the all the information, pros and what kind of sun and moist is needed. Here you can take your own garden. And uh, here is the plants. Uh, actually, this is the beds. And then you can set your plants. This is where you, when you sowing your seeds, you put <coughs> put your plant like that. Tomato. There is a information. Uh, and here, here you can see how many, how many days it's growing. And here is we have put in variety, and how many uh, seedlings or seeds we have put in. And uh, when, when it's time to planting that here in garden. Uh, we just take here. I don't know why it's giving wrong, <laughs> wrong way first, but uh, this is the where you can edit if it's needed. And uh, here you can then add transplant. And uh, when you transplant, you choose your bed. We have a uh, 16 bed here, what we have named mostly numbers and name of the main crop. So here you choose, uh, I don't put now that because it's not time yet, but here you can see the beds. The number 12 is tomato bed and there is already some plants, oriental mix. It's that little ones there. So that kind of we can keep the book always what it is and uh, when, you, when you start harvest you can uh, then put here Here is the that number four. Where is the big bok soy? 
it's this bed or this plant now this is the bed but only there is this bok, bok choy 60 pieces so this is kind of quite easy for us to keep cooking and see when it's time to harvest or we can make also a note here that we know how much we have harvested in this bed and uh, if there is coming issue we can uh, add note a note that we remember and also can take a picture uh, like we can take now picture of that issue for the caterpillar there is a hole so I can I can take a picture okay now it's here in application and I can wrote that caterpillar damage and we have removed the caterpillar. So, <coughs> sorry my English is quite poor but uh, <laughs> now I have note there that I know what has happened and you can see it, see it here in application. This is of course uh, takes some time and uh, efforts to keep in book here in application but um, another hand is uh, quite good that you can uh, when you do an intensive uh, growing intensive gardening uh, you don't uh, have much time to make a different notes but uh, if you have always your phone with you and you you remember always like now i have to put those onions what uh, marilyn was planted so th this way we can monitoring and we also only only thing beside this what we are doing is uh, make a, a sheet in computer that uh, where we put the harvest how much we have harvested and kind of make also money for it that can do here in application but uh, but this is a uh, how, how we try to now understand and monitoring this this what we are doing and and also it helps it's also kind of garden your journal that uh, you can you can leave it this plant and replace it new and and then you remember always uh, we are such a people that if we make a paper or something we lost the paper but this is probably <laughs> probably better way but we will we we will reporting how this is working we haven't used this so much yet but um, i think it's good good for us uh, to do it and and know, know, know all the time where we are in this garden and we have more than 45 plants planted here uh, for the eatable plants and then is plus is herbs uh, here is uh, not much herbs what we are growing but you can also add black cumin is one what we have uh, you can add the plants also here uh, what is missing in this app and uh, there is a play play store has a free version and it's about uh, something five dollars or something is this if you buy the application and then then you get all these plants and all the things what you can use here so uh, I think I think this is a uh, quite good quite good 
for our purposes. Yes, so even even you have a little garden, there is a lot of lot of things what you can do and and we really waiting to starting starting that wall planting and growing there there and we using also their company we have everywhere company on planting and also succession planting companion, no companion no. plants means use all the empty yeah <laughs> kind of empty places <laughs> and yeah. and it's also not only empty places but it's also kind of vertical uh, using like a there is coming cucumber climbing up and tearing down you have another plants so it's kind of a kind of permaculture way of thinking also also that you make a layers different layers to think of, can be cover plant like that first lane we using cover plant and maybe other maybe sweet potato can be there in kind of covering the land and then then is coming carrots and onions what is coming little higher and then is the main crop and like that that is repeating every place is always <laughs> repeating what you want to eat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or what people want to eat yeah and of course, in this garden, uh, we make a little different because it's not always eatable. It can be that there is uh, some medicinal plants in, in companion or filling those cap, what is there. But basically no empty places anywhere. That, that is the purpose of intensive gardening. Spicy. Spicy is also. Spice herbs. Spice herbs. Okay. We go to eat the breakfast and next time no issues. New, new life. New, no. <laughs> new life, no issue. <laughs> okay. Stay healthy. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.